The Sun, the epicenter of our solar system, is more dynamic than it appears. It goes through periods of highs and lows. But how do these cycles influence our planet's climate? Today we'll explore the cycles of our Sun and how it impacts every phase of life on Earth. A brief overview of climate change. The scientific evidence is clear, greenhouse gases are contributing to global warming and climate change. Human activities have raised CO2 levels in the atmosphere by 50% since 1750. The cycles of grand solar minimums and maximums. Grand solar minimums and grand solar maximums are terms that refer to long-term changes in the sun's activity, spanning decades or even centuries. Grand solar minimum. A period during which solar activity diminishes, leading to fewer sunspots and a decrease in the solar radiation that Earth receives. These variations in solar activity can influence Earth's climate, though they are just one of many factors that contribute to global climate patterns. During this period, very few sunspots were observed, and it coincided with the Little Ice Age in Europe, a period of colder than average temperatures. The most famous grand solar minimum is the Maunder Minimum, around 1645 to 1715. While a direct causal link between the Maunder Minimum and the Little Ice Age is still debated, some research suggests that reduced solar activity could have played a role in the cooler temperatures. Grand Solar Maximum Opposite to the minimum, this is a period of increased solar activity, resulting in more sunspots and increased solar radiation. Increased solar activity can influence space weather, potentially affecting satellite operations, power grids, and communication systems on Earth. While these changes in solar activity do have an impact on climate, they are currently understood to be secondary to other factors, especially the current trend of anthropogenic, human-caused, greenhouse gas emissions. It's important to note that while grand solar minimums and maximums can affect regional climates over decades or centuries, they are distinct from the rapid, global-scale changes in climate we're observing today due to human activities. In essence, while the sun's activity does influence Earth's climate to some extent, current climate change is primarily driven by human actions, particularly the emission of greenhouse gases. The human impact. Human-driven climate change, commonly referred to as anthropogenic climate change, is primarily driven by the emission of greenhouse gases, deforestation, industrial activities, and certain land use practices. Here's a breakdown of how human activities drive climate change. Greenhouse gas emissions. Carbon dioxide, CO2, the burning of fossil fuels, coal, oil, natural gas, for electricity, heat, and transportation is the single largest human-caused source of CO2 emissions. Methane, CH4, released during the production and transport of coal, oil, and gas. Methane emissions also result from livestock and other agricultural practices, as well as by the decay of organic waste in municipal solid waste landfills. Fluorinated gases, synthetic gases used in industrial applications. Nitrous oxide, N2O, emitted during agricultural and industrial activities, and during combustion of fossil fuels and solid waste. Though they're released in smaller quantities, they're much more potent in trapping heat than CO2. Industrial activities. Besides the direct emission of greenhouse gases, many industries release aerosols and pollutants that can either warm or cool the Earth's atmosphere, depending on their nature. Deforestation, which reduces the Earth's capacity to absorb CO2, also contributes significantly. When forests are cut down and not replaced, it reduces the Earth's capacity to absorb CO2, leading to higher atmospheric CO2 levels. Land use practices. Urbanization and certain agricultural practices can change the Earth's, albedo, which is Earth's ability to reflect solar radiation, affecting local temperatures. Agriculture and food production. Climate change is expected to increase the frequency of heavy precipitation in the United States which can harm crops by soil erosion and depletion of soil nutrients further impacting crop yields. Some potential solutions include, the introduction of innovative farming techniques and drought-resistant crop strains. Water resources. Climate change is expected to continue to exacerbate both water scarcity and water-related hazards, such as floods and droughts, as rising temperatures disrupt precipitation patterns in the entire water cycle. This coupled with decreasing snowpack runoff from mountain ranges, changes in river flows add to the ever-increasing scarcity of water. Livestock Climate change is affecting livestock populations and productivity by altering the ecosystem on which they depend, like water availability, forage quality and quantity resulting in disease outbreaks and animal stress due to heat shock. The U.S. Economy 
As the global mean temperature rises, various sectors will be adversely impacted, such as agriculture, crime, coastal storms, energy, human mortality and labor. Taken together, these effects could cost roughly 0.7% or $178 billion $500 million of GDP for every one degree increase in temperature on average. The Global Impacts on Society Climate-induced displacement looks different everywhere. Natural hazards, droughts, famine, political instability and conflict can exacerbate the urgency for people to migrate from their homelands. Climate change continues to impact society by disrupting the natural, economic, and social systems we depend on. This disruption will affect food supplies, industry supply chains and financial markets, damage infrastructure in cities and harm human health and global development. Impact on Earth's Climate For example, as polar ice melts due to warming, the Earth's albedo decreases because ice reflects sunlight, while water absorbs it. The ocean levels are rising, glaciers are melting, CO2 in the air is increasing, forest and wildlife are declining, and water life is being disturbed. These factors overpower the natural variations in climate, such as those driven by solar cyclicality. The Feedback Loops 1. The albedo feedback, is the ability of the polar ice to reflect the sun's radiation while water absorbs it. 2. Ocean Stability, the circulating patterns of the ocean waters are expanding due to warming, creating rising sea levels. 3. Blackbody radiation, greenhouse gases reflecting infrared radiation re-emitted from the Earth's surface back to the Earth. 4. Water vapor, water evaporation form in the atmosphere and enhances the greenhouse effect. 5. Wildfires, climate change creates warmer, drier conditions, leading to longer and more active fire seasons. Studies have shown that even during periods of lower solar activity in recent decades, for example, the solar minimum phases, global temperatures have continued to rise. This can lead to further warming, causing more ice melt in a feedback loop. Furthermore, the magnitude of temperature changes due to anthropogenic factors far outpaces those due to current solar variability. And while the sun does influence Earth's climate through natural cycles, the current scientific consensus is that recent global warming trends cannot be explained by solar variability alone. If you found this video educational and informative, please, like, share and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.